Hello. In this video, we are going to calculate the momentum for the various trial wave functions that are solutions for the free particle. Now recall that the quantum mechanical form of the momentum operator in the x direction is equal to h bar over i times the first derivative with respect to x. And also recall that we had found two possible trial wave function solutions for the free particle. The first of those, which was called psi1, was equal to a times e to the i kx, where k can be any, any value. And the second psi was b times e to the minus i kx. So let's first determine what the momentum is for psi1. So we do that by having our operator act upon the wave function. So that gives us h bar over i times the first derivative with respect to x of our wave function. And our wave function is a times e to the i kx. So we can factor out the h bar over i, and we just want to put the first derivative inside our parentheses. So what is that going to be? We get i k times a e to the i k x. We can simplify a little further. We notice that we have i divided by i, so our i's cancel. And we're left with h bar over k times a e to the i k x. And we notice that the expression we've written in black is the wave function. So this is our psi, psi 1 returned. So that tells us the coefficient in front here, h bar k is the momentum. So this gives us the, the value of the momentum for a particle that is described by this particular wave function. Now we will calculate the momentum for the second particle, the particle described by the second wave function, psi 2. So we want to use the operator, momentum operator in the x direction have it act upon the wave function number two. So what is this going to be equal to? Operator again is h bar over i times the first derivative with respect to x. And it's going to act upon our wave function, which in this case is going to be b times e to the minus i kx. And again, we can factor out h bar over i And then we're going to write out explicit form the first derivative with respect to x of this wave function. So what is that going to be? Well, again, when we have the first derivative of an exponential, we bring the coefficient of the variable in front of e. So it gives us minus i times k. And then the coefficient that was already there is b. And we continue with the e to the minus i kx. Similarly to the previous case, we notice that we have minus i and i, so the i's can cancel. So we have to remember we have the minus sign. So that gives us minus h bar k times b e to the minus i x. We call it this is our wave function psi 2. So that tells us that the coefficient in front here, the minus h bar k, is the momentum for this system. That's the momentum in the x direction. We notice something peculiar here, that when we had psi 1, the momentum was h bar k. So assuming that k is a positive number, 
that tells us we have a positive momentum. We can think of that as the particle moving in the uh, direction going to the right. In the case of psi 2, again, assume k being restricted to be a positive number, we have a negative momentum which corresponds to the particle moving in the opposite direction, moving to the left. So we see that while these two wave functions have exactly the same energy, they have different momenta. One has a momentum moving to the right, and this one has momentum moving to the left. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.